Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and I know I'm a little late with this, but I just wanted to comment on the passing of the Ultimate Warrior. Um, and it's been all over the news, and don't get me started on the whole Nancy Grace thing. I'm not going to talk about that here, but yeah, um, I mean, it, it was it was pretty shocking, obviously, very surreal because I mean, we've seen him at uh, the Hall of Fame ceremony last weekend, and we saw him at WrestleMania, and then we've seen him do his speech on Raw, which, man, you you go back now and you think about it, it that speech is real eerie, and it's like he's, it's almost as if he's delivering his own eulogy. I mean, and then the next day we hear he's gone, and I first got, I first seen on Facebook someone had posted a status saying the ultimate warrior is dead and I, I said huh and he gave me the link to wwe.com confirming it and I still didn't quite believe it yet because I'm like what even Dave Scherer of pwinsider.com was thinking they're probably talking about the character ultimate warrior passing away they can't be the warrior himself what is going on like uh, it's it's weird like we just seen him at WrestleMania weekend. Um, yeah, he did sweat a lot and all that stuff, but he says he sweats, he does sweat a lot, and he didn't appear to look bad. But then you look, you go back now and you look. Um, uh, when he was shaking the ropes on Raw, he barely shook him at all. Uh, there have been reports that backstage he looked like in constant pain, or he looked, he didn't look good. Um, uh, and then a lot of the boys in the in the back were saying stuff like. Uh, when he was shaking the ropes, he really looked out of place. You can clearly see it. Um, I mean, it's just weird. Like, and, and it also sucks. I mean, Ultimate Warrior, I've made fun of him a lot over the years. I did own the self-destruction of the Ultimate Warrior DVD. I don't have it no more, but, um, I mean, the Warrior, you know, the, the things he said and has done over the years, including changing his name to Warrior, which I thought was stupid. But, I mean, regardless of what I thought about him in later years as an adult, I always looked back and and remember the matches and the promos and stuff he did when I was a kid and his match with Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 6. Um, so I kind of didn't care how he was portrayed today, even though I did kind of a laugh at some of the stuff people were saying about him, like his promos being weird and all that stuff. Um, at the same time, I didn't care because I was like, this is the ultimate warrior. He brought me good childhood memories. Um he was so awesome back then he was such a beast and um and then over, over the weekend you know he made peace with the WWE he hugged Vince McMahon in that picture he, he was hugging Vince McMahon and someone posted a, I shared the picture on Facebook uh, someone put a caption on that picture saying if we learned one thing this weekend it's forgiveness rest in peace warrior that was very uh I mean, that kind of broke my heart a little bit to see that. Those two finally making peace together. For those of you who don't know, Vince McMahon, the Ultimate Warrior, if you want to understand, pretty much hate each other over the years. Or I know the Warrior hated Vince McMahon. Uh, the Warrior hated Hogan. I don't know if he ever got to make peace with Hogan before he passed away. Uh, man, it's just, it just blew my mind. Like, I came home from Life Group, and for those, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a church group thing I go to every Tuesday night. And I see that, you know, I find out that he passed away. And, and even though I didn't, WWE.com confirmed it, I don't, I don't really believe anything in the wrestling industry until PWInsider.com confirms it because that's how much, I, how much I trust that site. And then a few minutes later, surely enough, they confirmed it. And I just, man, it, it really I just blew my mind like what the heck happened we just seen him over the weekend it's one thing if you haven't seen him or heard about him over the years and then you find out he died but when you just seen him at Wrestlemania weekend and all that stuff and he cut a promo the night before on Raw live and then he's gone what the heck my friend uh, my friend Swindoll said oh, he probably committed suicide and I doubt that we're, we're starting to find out more details I don't think the autopsy report's done yet I think it, that stuff takes a while but I think the autops, uh, autopsy stuff um, started on Thursday. Uh, now, from what I have read, there's been witnesses that said he was walking to his car with his wife, and he stopped, clutched his chest, and then collapsed. And then later on, he's pronounced dead at the hospital. So obviously, that's not suicide. And why would he commit suicide after you've heard a speech saying, hey, 
uh, you know, he, how much he loved his daughters, 11 and 13 year old daughters, and his wife. How much he loved them, and you know, he just signed a, an ambassador deal with the WWE, and he was inducted to the Hall of Fame. Why would he commit suicide after that? And there's a lot of thoughts going on in my head. Well, if he did commit suicide, maybe that's why he delivered that speech on Raw because he knew he was going to die. But no, I highly, highly doubt he committed suicide. I mean, again, there's been reports that he, you know, clutched his chest and collapsed on the ground. I'm guessing a heart attack. I mean, you know, uh, what else could it be if, if that's how he, he collapsed? And, uh, I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything, so we'll find out for sure when the autopsy report comes out. But it's been known, he's confessed this, that he's done steroids in the past. Um, so maybe it finally caught up to him, and plus, I think even to this day, he still did some intense workout. I don't think he did steroids. I don't think he's done steroids for like 10, 20 years, to the best of my knowledge. But I mean, man, he was. Diamond Dallas Page said on the Nancy Grace show that he was still working out as if he was in his 20s. That and plus, you know, maybe the steroids caught up to him over the years. I mean, that stuff catches up to you. Like Eddie Guerrero died after he was clean and sober for four years. All that stuff he did, like drugs and alcohol, whatever he did to where he died from an enlarged heart, caught up to him. I think the same thing with Real Warrior Hawk. Uh, he was clean and sober for years, and, and then he died because all that stuff he did in the past. Uh, but, man, I just, you know, real sad, and I really feel bad for his wife and kids. I mean, you know, I've been praying for them because I really feel bad for them. And, yeah, so, I mean, I guess all the, all I got to say before I go is, you know, um, whether you loved him or hate him, the Ultimate Warrior... Uh, he was awesome back then. Um, a little off, a little crazy, but I mean, when you were a kid, you didn't care as long as he was somewhat entertaining you. And uh, I mean, he was he was just awesome. I never forget the match at WrestleMania six. I, I didn't watch it live, but I was listening to it live because I couldn't get pay per view at the time when I was a kid. And there was a way I can switch the channels around, and you can hear the pay per view. The screen was snowy, but you can hear the pay per view, and I heard the whole thing. And I couldn't believe it. Well, I, I, I guess I could believe it, but, you know, at the same time, it was shocking. The Ultimate Warrior beating Hulk Hogan. If you beat Hulk Hogan clean in Hulk Hogan's prime, you were the man. And the Ultimate Warrior was the man. He was the first person, I think, ever at the time. I don't know about ever since then, but uh, uh, at the time, to hold both the WWF belt and Intercontinental belt. Um, so, yeah, uh, rest in peace, Warrior. Uh, I mean, real sad, real shocking. Uh, first, all I can think about really was the Undertaker streak ending, and then well, it, that stuff is scripted, though. But the, the Ultimate Warrior dying, unfortunately, is not scripted. Um, so, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Warrior. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family and, and his friends. And, yeah, uh, you are a legend and you will be missed. So, thank you very much for the memories. And, yeah, your Warrior spirit will live on. Um, so, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.